probably kick the barrel. Bristol Myers, makers of Ipana toothpaste for the smile of beauty and Vitalis for well groomed hair, bring you Duffy's Tavern with our guest tonight, Cass Daly, and starring Archie himself, Ed Gardner. <laughs> Hello, Duffy's Tavern, where the elite meet the Archie the manager speaking. Duffy ain't here. Oh, hello, Duffy. Tonight, uh, Cass Daly. Well, she's sort of a Martha Ray, uh, uh, a Betty Hutton, and a, a Judy Canova, all, all rolled up into a Marjorie Maine. <laughs> yeah, one of them hotshot dames, Duffy, full of vim, vigor, and vitality. In fact, they tell me that when a vitamin pill is feeling low, it takes one of her. <laughs> and what a voice. You ought to hear her new phonograph record, uh, All Right, Louie Dropped the Gun. Yeah, she sings it so loud, Louie could shoot the gun and nobody would hear it. <laughs> uh, what does she look like? Well, uh, let me put it this way. Uh, you know them trick mirrors down at Cooney Island? Well, on them, Cass Daly looks beautiful. <laughs> Worse looking than your daughter? Well, it's hard to say, you know. It'd be kind of a Mexican standoff. <laughs> huh? Well, why do you ask that question? You think it's time Miss Duffy got married? I could have told you that 20 years ago. <laughs> huh? You want to put up a dowry of 500 bucks to get her a husband? Really? Duffy, your daughter's got an agent. <laughs> Did you hear that, Eddie? Duffy is offering 500 bucks to get a guy to marry Miss Duffy. Marry Miss Duffy? Well, that shouldn't be too tough. You don't think so? Well, they split the atom, didn't they? <laughs> now, look, why don't you marry Miss Duffy and uh, collect the money you say? Ah, oh, no, Eddie. Her and me ain't got enough in common. You See, I'm a man and... She's Miss Duffy. <laughs> no, I don't mind a dame being homely looking, but she makes a fetish of it. <laughs> but I wonder who we could get to marry her. Yeah. She might be a pretty good wife for somebody. Yeah, yeah but who, though? Well, uh... mm, let's see. Mm. Mm. Well, guess that exhausts the possibilities. <laughs> But there must be some crackpot that'd marry it, oh. The only trouble is, if he's a crackpot, the chances are he's already married. <laughs> That's true. Now, let's see, who can we get? Of course, in a pinch, there's always Tommy Manville. <laughs> Naughty Shaw. Uh, no, I think he's already bagged his limit there. <laughs> Besides, uh, guys like that is too sophisticated and too choosy, you know. We gotta get somebody, as I say, uh, somebody more on the crackpot side. Uh, oh, what? Oh, hello, Finnegan. What? Hello, Finnegan. What? I said hello. What are you trying to do? Not the notch, just jockeying for position. <laughs> Eddie, I think this might be just the man. Uh, Finnegan? How would you like to get married? Arch, I didn't know you cared. <laughs> then again, I ain't speaking on my own behalf. Oh. What I meant was, uh, how would you like to marry Miss Duffy? How would you like a punch in the nose? <laughs> now, just a minute. She ain't that bad. Besides, uh, her father's got a lot of dough. Oh, yeah? Then so why don't you marry her yourself? How would you like a punch in the nose? <laughs> Why don't you think about it, though, Finnegan? You know, marriage might be a good thing for a guy like you. It might bring you a lot of happiness. Arch, what good is happiness? What good is happiness? Yeah. Can it buy money? <laughs> well, no. Besides, me father has always been very much against me getting married. He has, uh, really? Uh, well, why does he feel that way? Well, I don't know. Something about civilization. <laughs> I see what he means. <laughs> but 
I still can't help feeling that there's something that, uh, well, that you and Miss Duffy was meant for each other. How do you figure? Well, it's a sense you two wasn't meant for anybody else. <laughs> Uh, sorry, sorry, Arch, but uh, you'll have to get another guy. Yeah, but who? Who can I get? Oh, wait a minute. You think she'd be interested in a dentist that owns his own Cadillac? That <laughs> could be. Uh, a guy that has a yacht and about a million bucks. A million bucks? She certainly would be. Do you know such a guy? No, but I'll keep my eyes open. <laughs> And I think uh, maybe it'd be better if you kept your mouth shut. Now, uh, let me alone. I gotta get that five hundred bucks for yeah, you. Well, if you're gonna get it, you better get it fast. That gal ain't getting no younger. <laughs> you ain't kidding. In fact, she's reached the age where she ain't even getting older. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Uh, Ixnay on the conversation. Hey, uh, here she comes. Uh, Archie. Oh, hello, Miss Duffy. Guess what? What? I'm thinking of getting engaged. <laughs> Engaged? What'd you do? Lie about your face? <laughs> I mean, uh, who are you? Uh, <clears throat> who are you engaged to? Uh, what's the guy's name? Elmer. Mm -hmm. That figures. <laughs> uh, this Elmer sounds like just the right man for you, Miss Duffy. But you haven't even seen him. No, but I've seen you. <laughs> uh, tell me, uh, what's Elmer's last name? How do I know? We're not married yet. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, what makes you think that the guy's intentions are serious? Last night, I had to slap him three times. He got fresh? No, he didn't. <laughs> you know, that's the thing about him, Archie. He hasn't tried to kiss me or make love to me. He hasn't even tried to hold my hand. Well, then you're in. What do you mean? Already he's acting like a husband. <laughs> Yeah, I think you better grab this guy off quick, Miss Duffy. You know, a dame like you don't get too many chances. Oh, yeah. You should have a dollar for every time I've been proposed to. Miss Duffy, being asked to play shortstop by the Pitkin Avenue Tigers can hardly be called a proposal. <laughs> now, tell me, uh, when are you going to see this Elmer again? Oh, he's coming down here tonight. Oh, good. <clears throat> Excuse me a minute. Eddie... Could you let me have a $10 advance on that 500 Now, wait a minute. Now, she ain't married yet. She's as good as married. She says she's going out with him. So what? Any guy dumb enough to take that dame out is dumb enough to marry her. <laughs> Friends, brush your teeth twice a day with Ipana toothpaste. That's the Ipana way for healthier gums, for brighter teeth for a sparkling, more beautiful smile. That's what dentists all over the country say, too. Eight out of ten dentists say the Ipana way works. Try the Ipana way yourself. It's professionally approved dental care. One, between regular visits to your dentist, brush all tooth surfaces with Ipana toothpaste at least twice a day. Two, massage gums the way your dentist advises to stimulate gum circulation. That's all. But see the difference Ipana toothpaste can make to your teeth. To your smile. Notice Ipana's wonderful flavor, too. How it leaves your mouth fresher, your breath cleaner. You'll really like Ipana and what it can do for you. So get a tube first chance you can. Remember, a good dentifrice like a good dentist is never a luxury. Make the Ipana way your way to healthier gums, brighter teeth, a more sparkling smile. The Ipana smile, the smile of beauty. <laughs> Well, Eddie, it won't be long now. We get this Elmer guy to marry Miss Duffy, and I collect 500 bucks. Yeah, but getting a man to marry ain't gonna be easy. What do you mean? Well, look at it logically. A marriage license costs two bucks, don't it? Yeah. Well, for the same investment, the man could get a license to marry Hedy Lamar. <laughs> well, so what? Uh, maybe Elmer wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> You know, the old verboten, Eddie, uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, hey, wait a minute. I think I got something in my eye. <laughs> something in your eye? Yeah, ain't that Cass Daly that just come in? Oh, well, it ain't Hedy Lamar. Well, uh, Cass, welcome to the tavern. Here, yeah, let me look at you. Uh, you know, you ain't changed a bit. <laughs> Thanks, Archie. Let me look at you. Mm. You haven't... You haven't changed a bit either. 
Not so much for insults. <laughs> so this is Duffy's Tavern, huh? That's right. You know something, Archie? It reminds me a lot of the inside of the Brown Derby. Inside the Brown Derby, huh? Yeah. A sweatband. <laughs> Jokes like that, that's going to bring back radio. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> tell me, Kiss, uh, what's new in Hollywood? Well, things are pretty bad. Yeah, huh? Yeah, you know, we actresses are beginning to feel the pinch. What's new about that? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but things are really tough out there, huh? Yeah, Archie, you know, it's getting so bad in Hollywood that the agents are getting jobs for each other. <laughs> <laughs> They ever get them for anybody else? <laughs> but, uh, what have you got to worry about? You know, you're full of pep and vinegar. You, uh, you'll always be successful. Oh, thanks. Uh, tell me, how do you get all that energy and vitality? Oh, clean living. <laughs> what a price to pay for success. <laughs> And from what you told me, Cass, I guess I... I guess I gave up my movie career in the nick of time. Looks like I'm just as well off being just a plain bartender. You know something? That's what I could never understand, Arch. Why? Well, why you gave up a big movie career just to be a bartender? Well, I took a long-range viewpoint. You see, I figured that long after MGM and Paramount have crumbled into the dust, they'll still be drunks. <laughs> thing that I feel... Uh, I, uh, I was just... Well, Zazu Pig! Finnegan, this is Cass Daly. Oh, oh. Uh, Cass, this is Clifton Finnegan. Oh, I'm sorry. If I had known, I'd have sent flowers. Uh, just a minute, Arch. Who is this thing? What's a rocket? She's a singer. Oh, some rocket. You've heard her. Uh, it so happens her success ain't only due to her singing, no, Finny, and she's very clever in a lot of ways. Oh, yeah? Tell me, sister, can you hold your breath till your face turns purple? No. Can you recite Gunga Din backwards? No. Can you whistle Swanee River through your ears? No. Well, you sure gone a long way with no talent. <laughs> Please, stop annoying the customers, uh, will you? Uh, pardon me, Miss Daly, but didn't I see you in the snake pit? <laughs> yes, Duffy, please. please. Uh, Archie. Yeah? The one that just left. Yeah? Is this his brother? <laughs> Sister, you know, you're no Ray Moland yourself. Wait a minute. Stop this argument here, girls. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> the one on the left should have a razor blade on her heels. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let me take a look at you two dames a minute. Hmm. <laughs> Them faces. Eddie, has the clock stopped? <laughs> Not only stopped, it lost the hour. Well, this gives me an idea, though. Excuse me, girls. Eddie, take a gander at them two tomatoes. Look at them both at the same time. Yeah. You focused? Huh? Tell me, did you ever see Miss Duffy look better? <laughs> you see, as Einstein says, everything is relative. So when Elma gets here, one look at Cass Daly and anything will look good, Tom. <laughs> you mean... Uh, yep, even her. Now, look, fun is fun, Archie. How do I get out of this place? Wait a minute, you can't leave yet, Cass. Well, uh... I have to. I'm sorry, I have an appointment at the beauty parlor. That's the last place you should go. <clears throat> I mean, sit down and have a bite to eat. <laughs> Keep your face around. Me? Eat here? In this proving ground for ulcers? <laughs> Oh, at least you can try. Here, uh, look over the bill affair. Well, 
Guess I'm stuck. Okay. I think I'll start out with some oysters. I'm sorry, but you're out of luck with the oysters, sir. But it says right here on the menu, oysters. I know, but uh, we only got two of them, and we're saving them for breeding purposes. <laughs> Perhaps our mater D can suggest something else. Oh, gargoyle. Uh, gargoyle. Yes? Uh, I'm talking to Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, our guest is ravished. Uh, what would you suggest? Uh... Well, uh, Miss Daly, how would you like some nice golden brown southern fried chicken? Gee, you mean with candy jams covered with rich country gravy? Yeah, and hot biscuits and honey. Mmm, boy, that sounds delicious. Have you got it? No, but we were really living there for a minute, weren't we? <laughs> Look, uh, kids, uh, how about a hamburger? Well, okay, let's get it over with. I'll take a hamburger. Uh, will you take it home or let it eat you here? <laughs> Eddie, please. Well, here you are. One hamburger coming up. Go ahead, Cass. Uh, take a bite. Well, what do you think of it? Well, I, <laughs> I don't know whether it's a burp or a weenie. <laughs> well, honey, you did practically all of them, huh? Now, <laughs> now look at here. I just to get out of here. Where are you going? <laughs> Wait a minute. You can't leave yet. You gotta I gotta re- get out of here. You've got to remember your public case. You can't leave yet. A, a, a customer just requested a song. Oh, really? Well, who requested it? Some drunk. <laughs> Please, yeah, sing something. At least uh, sing, sing something until Elmer gets here, huh? Until Elmer gets here. Uh, uh, oh, uh, well, that's an old expression around here. Let's sing till Elma gets here. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Maddie, the music, please. Now, go ahead. Sing something. Okay, Arch. Okay, stand back. Here I go. <laughs> Nothing personal, Cass. Nothing personal but that voice of yours. You see, this is a very old building. And <laughs> Have you anything a little softer? A little softer? Yeah. Well, I might have. Listen. Okay. Yeah. Now, here's a story with a moral. And all you gals better pay some mind. Cause if you find a man worth keeping, be satisfied. Make sure to treat him kind. Cause a good man is hard to find. You'll always get the other kind. Just when you think that he's your pal, you turn around and find him messing around some other gal. And then you rave. You even crave. To see him laying right in his grave. So if your man is nice, take my advice. Hug him in the morning. Kiss him every night. Give him plenty of loving. To read the right, because that good man nowadays, he is tired to find. Yes, sirree, girls, you know, once I had a man of my own. And since he's gone, boy, I really miss him. You see, most girls have to kiss a man to hold him. But me, <laughs> I have to hold him to kiss him. <laughs> he wasn't much of a looks or culture, and he had a funny pan. As a matter of fact, he wasn't much of anything, but at least he was a man. And if he comes back to my little bread shack, I'm gonna hug him in the morning. Kiss him every night. Give him plenty of loving to read him right. Because the good man nowadays is hard to find. Yes, sir, he did an opportunity not for once. And when that once is gone, sister, it's gone forever. So, girls, if you get a man, there's just one but. Keep a smile on your face and keep your big mouth shut. <laughs> I've learned my lesson now and everything's fine. And if he comes back, I'll never 
him every night, give him plenty of loving, so read him right. That was wonderful. <clears throat> well, thank you, Archie. Now, let me get out of here. Now, wait a minute. Yes, please, please, come back here. I'm sorry, no more arguments. This time, I'm leaving. Look, you can't kiss. I'll come clean with you. You see, <laughs> there's a guy coming down here tonight, uh, an eligible bachelor, you see. A bachelor? And I... A bachelor come and... down here tonight? Well, how peachy. <laughs> What's he like? Well, he wears pants, uh, <laughs> and he's alive. Uh. Well, that's good enough for me, boy. <laughs> and he trot out another hamburger. <laughs> You know something? Summer's just a bud and a breeze away. And to a lot of fellows, that means tennis, golf, swimming, and dry, unruly hair. Because that's just what happens when sun, wind, and water get working on your hair. But it needn't, you know. Not when you protect your hair with Vitalis and the famous 60-second workout. No hair preparation can give your scalp and hair better protection than Vitalis and the 60-second workout. For the Vitalis formula contains two of the same ingredients that many skin specialists prescribe for dry, flaky scalps, plus all the other extras that make your hair more handsome, more healthy looking. So try the Vitalis 60 Second Workout. Let it prevent scalp and hair dryness, rout flaky dandruff, and give you the best looking, healthiest looking hair of head you ever had. You look your best tomorrow if you get a bottle of Vitalis today. Miss Archie, this poor Elma. What do you mean, poor Elma? Well, I don't think it's fair to a guy trying to get him married to Miss Duffy. But, uh, Eddie, she could make the guy happy. Just picture it. He comes home from work at night, and there she is, waiting for him with his slippers and his pipe and his blindfold. <laughs> and she folds his paper and... What just arrived? Oh, Archie, I'd like you to meet my new boyfriend. Elma, this is Archie. How'd he do, bub? <laughs> he could get B.O. plenty. <laughs> well, uh, glad to see you, Elma. Thanks. Uh, have a cigarette? Uh, Thanks. Uh, Elma, when you light it, be sure you don't hold the match too close to that collar. Uh, <clears throat> tell me, uh, what do you do for a living, Elma? Uh, Elma has his own farm. A uh, farm, huh? Yep. Uh -huh. He, uh, he raises hogs. <laughs> this I could have told you when he came in. <laughs> well, uh, make yourself to home, Elma. What can I offer you? A beer, a bourbon, a bath? <laughs> Never touch him. <laughs> Tell me, uh, Elma, this uh, farm, is it, a, is it a pretty big farm? Yep. <laughs> Run it all by yourself, then? Yep. <laughs> Must get uh, pretty lonesome sometimes, don't it? Uh, yep. Especially uh, nights. Yep. <laughs> this guy sounds like Gary Cooper. Elma, <laughs> uh... You say you raise hogs? Mm-hmm. Hogs, cows, chickens, horses. Uh -huh. Elma, have you ever thought of completing this menagerie? <laughs> Archie, this is very embarrassing. <laughs> now, look, young fire, be you hinting for me to marry this gal? I do be. <laughs> well, nothing doing. I ain't figuring on getting hitched. Miss Duffy, get out of sight for a minute. <clears throat> I'll handle this. Uh, look, Elma, what you need on that farm is a woman. A woman to cook your meals, put up the preserves, uh, darn your socks, pull the plow. 
pull the plow, I got a horse for that. Don't you ever feel that you'd like to give the horse a day off? <laughs> and think of them hogs, Elma. Them hogs need a mother's love, too. <laughs> Why don't you consider, Miss Duffy? No, son, I'm getting on in years. I ain't got long to go. I think I'll just finish it out with the hogs. <laughs> Besides, I always figured if I got married, I'd like to have something around the farm that looked better than animals. <laughs> but, uh, look at her over there, Alma. She's, she's real healthy, you know. Good, strong set of teeth. Uh, not too sway back. Uh, from what I hear, she ain't had a spavin in years. <laughs> Sorry, nothing doing. Uh -huh. Well, I guess I gotta play me ace. Kiss? Yes, Archie. Come here a minute. Uh, Elmer? Yeah? You know how when you're in a cow pasture, the cow pasture on the other side always looks greener? Yep. Then when you get over to the other cow pasture, the first one looks better to you? Yep. Elmer, I'd like you to meet the other cow pasture. <laughs> Well, hello, Elmer. Say, you're kind of cute. Well, rotate my crops and call me dizzy if she ain't a looker there. <laughs> Say, sister, I, uh, are you single? Yep. <laughs> hey, you think I'm kind of cute? Yep. <laughs> Do you like farms? Yep. <laughs> I like the way she talks. <laughs> Holy cat. I think I have created a Frankenstein. <laughs> I gotta break this thing up. Uh, uh, Elmer, uh, t tell me, uh, t do you like good music? Do you? Uh huh. Love it. I thought you might. Uh, Kiss, why don't you sing a song to Elmer? You know, one of them nice square dance type of songs like <laughs> Louie Dropped the Gun, you know? Sure, well, all right, Archie. Would you like to hear me sing, Elmer? Uh, yep. Will you do it? Yep. Okay, Cass, let him have it. Well, all right, Louie, drop the gun, boy. You're not fooling anyone. Oh, so get your hump and drop the gun. Hold there, Cass. 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 Hold there. I knew that song would do it. <laughs> well, Elmer, what's new? <laughs> I've made up my mind. You're going to get married? Yep. To Miss Duffy? Nope. You mean you're going to marry Cass Daly? Yep. After hearing her sing that song? That's just it. As I told you, I'm getting along in years, and my lungs ain't what they used to be. Someday I'm going to need a voice like that for calling hogs. <laughs> Yes, it's a hit. Thousands of men have switched to new Benex Brushless Shave Cream. Thousands are discovering that Benex gives them the best shaves they've ever had. Mister, it's time you too tried Benex, the new wonder shave with a sensational beard softening formula. Benex Brushless leaves your face feeling extra smooth and comfortable. And Benex doesn't clog or ra razor or drain. But don't take our word for it. Just try Benex yourself. Get a tube at your nearest drug counter. Or we'll send you a big 25 cent tube free. Write your name and address on a postcard and mail to Benex. B-E-N-E-X. Empire State Building, New York 1, New York. Remember, buy Benex Brushless or get a big 25-cent tube free by writing Benex, Empire State Building, New York. Hurry, offer limited. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.